hello everyone creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we have created this beautiful animation especially for startups who are looking for new ways to express their brand and this is really a beautiful animation i hope you will love it so please subscribe to our channel and join the membership pdf element the all-in-one pdf solution has launched 2020 calendar templates the best part is that you can download these templates for free. Now, what do you have to do in order to get these beautiful calendar templates? It's very simple. You have to go to their website and share any calendar on your social media account, like on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and you can get free printable PDF calendar template. There are lots of calendars that you can download. For example, country based calendars like USA Calendar, Australia, UK, Germany, Canada, etc. Then there are theme based calendars as well, like marketing, sports, travel, exam, nature, etc. The amazing thing about these calendars is that these are really beautiful. You have to share it on your social media network and you can download it for free. Once downloaded, you can edit it as well with the help of PDF element. It's an amazing tool. You can easily edit the text, images, background, and colors in the calendar PDF. It's so easy to use. You can use its text editor to edit all the statements and the text, words. Then you can also replace the image. You can rotate the image and edit all the elements present on the PDF. For more information about the PDF element, and the 2020 calendar templates check out the links provided in the video description so here is how you can join the membership so you just have to click this join button and this will really motivate us and it's a way to support us so i hope you will hit it so here we can start the tutorial so at the bottom you can see the color palette of course you can decide your own color palette based on your brand theme or overall topic of the presentation so the first step is to insert this rounded square whenever you insert a shape just remove its outline if it's not required make sure the height and width is same and look at this this looks like this looks like an icon on your phone so that's how you can design it just pick one of the colors from the palette so currently we are taking a light to dark color approach here so duplicate this shape increase the height and width remove its fill only keep its outline so we have inserted two shapes one with the solid fill and one with only the outline just group these two together you you have to press ctrl plus g now duplicate this group again and increase the height and width again and now we have second set of shapes here this is the second group now we have to change the color just pick one of the color from the from the palette and similarly you have to pick the color from for the outline now you have to place it at the center and send to back so make sure it is at the center you can use the align option at the top which is really helpful I think we should follow the dark to light color approach. The layer at the top should have the darkest color and similarly we can fill the color colors from the palette on the remaining shapes. So now we have two groups. We have to create three more groups. So total we will have five such groups. So now we have two groups ready. Just duplicate one of the group, and this is the third group. Increase its height and width. Now 
now change the color pick the next color from the palette and we will follow the similar approach for the next two remaining groups as well so we have placed the third group as well now duplicate it again for the fourth time increase its height and width again i know it's a time taking process but the more you will practice the easier you will feel so and the best part is we are reusing the components you don't have to draw these shapes again you you are just you know duplicating the groups and just increasing their height and width so that's the best part of any process where you can reuse the components so now comes the fifth group and increase its height and width again so make sure the height and width is same and send it to back but before that we will change its color both for the outline and for the main shape now you have to send it to back now select all the shapes and align to center and middle and you can use the align option to do that it's very easy now what i have noticed is that the distance between these shapes is not too much and we need to increase that space and for that you need to select every shape and increase its height and width and after that you need to align it to center and then to middle You have to do it five times, one for each group. Just make sure everything is well aligned and it's in the center. And height and width is same for all the groups. You can also do it by dragging the corner of these groups or you can use the format shapes option to increase their height and width. So we have increased the height and width for all these shapes. Now you have to ungroup all these shapes. So in total you have five groups and ten shapes in each group there is one shape with the solid fill and the other shape with only the outline so you have to right click and press ungroup or you have to press ctrl shift and g now comes the animation part select all these shapes go to animation and select grow and shrink animation in the animation tabs make sure it is start with previous increase the duration to six to eight seconds now you have to uh, you know add the delay on each animation so here you can you know experiment with these options here so I have kept a delay of 0.5 seconds, but you can keep it to 0.75 or even one second as well. You have to test the animation again and again until you get the desired output here. Now after adding the delay, select all the animations right click go to properties select auto reverse increase so the, the animation smooth is star and smooth uh, end option so it will you know ease in and ease out the animation increase the 
zoom size to 120 to 140 percent based on your you know requirements so you can test and see what looks good to you and now you can see the shapes are zooming in and zooming out now we need to further you know modify this animation to make it look more you know more interesting now select all these shapes go to emphasis effects and here you have to select spin so now we have two sets of animations here and you have to start it with previous now you just have to increase the duration to five to eight seconds as well here now right click on the animation and smooth and and smooth start you just move the sliders make sure the auto reverse is selected yes and go to the timing here and select the repeat to the end of the slide so by doing this the animation will run in loops and it will be an ongoing animation until you press the next slide button so here is the second set of animation which is the spin animation and now we need to add the delay on each animation in the second set and in order to do that you need to select all the animations in the second set and keep on deselecting one by one and add the delay on every animation and the delay should be between 0.25 to 1 second but it, it depends upon you how you want it to be if you want a very slow animation then increase the delay if you want to be fast then keep it 0.25 so you need to test and try different delay options here so so that's what i'm doing here you know like even the zoom and sorry grow and shrink animation i'm trying different zoom size here initially i i had selected 120 percent now i have selected like 130 or 140 percent so here you can try different things but the basic of animation is same i hope you are able to understand what i'm trying to explain here and now comes the third part of the animation which is to you know apply different spin on each group so the first group will be clockwise second will be counterclockwise third will be clockwise fourth will be counterclockwise so for the spin animation the second set of animation that we had applied the spin animation in that option by default the animation the spin is clockwise but what we will do is we will select the second and fourth group to spin anti clockwise or counter clockwise so this will create a very different kind of animation so that's how you you know try and test different things apply little animation effects and different styles to make it look good now what i'm doing is i'm selecting all these groups and rotating these groups by 45 degrees the first group to 45 degrees the second group to minus 45 degrees now the third again to 45 degrees and the fourth to minus 45 degrees and fifth again 45 degrees so these are the things that you can try you just have to be you know you just have to think beyond the basics 
in order to you know in order to create outstanding animations there are no set rules you just have to be you know uh, imaginative you just have to be creative just try and test different things in and at the end you will get an awesome animation so now i i have increased the transparency on all these shapes so that they kind of blend with each other so now the animation is coming out really nice i think i need to increase the grow and shrink size here press ok so you can keep on trying and testing different things here so i want to increase the delay here in the grow and shrink animation because the animation was looking very fast i want to kind of make it more slow more smooth So in this tutorial what we have learned is applying two simultaneous animation one is grow and shrink and the second is spin so there are two animations working at the same time on these five groups the grow and shrink and the spin and in the spin we have further divided the animation into two parts clockwise and counterclockwise So now comes the last part. You can add some text or logo, whatever you want. So you can do that here. So I hope you will like this design. I hope you like this design and and you will share your love in in terms of you know like support and subscribe. So please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues in our office college schools and we will see you guys in our next video and i'll leave you guys with this final output which is really beautiful and amazing goodbye for now peace